This is a story ABC 15 broke on our mobile app in just the past few hours. Congressman Trent Franks speeding up his resignation, quitting effective today. His wife is now hospitalized amid claims by a former aide who says a Republican offered to pay her five million dollars to be a surrogate. ABC 15's Melissa Blasius is live at the state capitol tonight. Melissa, a lot of twists and turns in this story today. What did you learn? Well, yes, and this thing just gets weirder as time goes on here. What we do know about Congressman Trent Franks is that he is independently wealthy and that he and his wife were unable to conceive a child. So he made what seems to be a very improper proposal. Congressman Trent Franks offered at least one staffer a fortune to help him have a child. According to the Associated Press, it was $5 million, and she said no. With a House ethics investigation looming, Franks resigned. Today is his last day as a congressman. If that's the case, it's no wonder Paul Ryan asked him to resign because that's not survivable politically. It, it, it just feels wrong on a number of levels. The Arizona political scene reeling from the news and rushing. There will be a primary election to fill the vacant seat within 90 days. This is setting itself up to be the craziest, wildest, strangest election in any of our lifetimes. Names already surfacing for Republican candidates, some who already declared they were running for other offices. Three state legislators, Kimberly Yee, who told me she's interested, Debbie Lesko, and Steve Montenegro, a former Frank staffer who tweeted that his old boss asked him to run. Other possibilities? Peoria's mayor, county supervisor Clint Hickman, and former governor Jan Brewer, possibly. But even weirder, the winner in the special election in May only holds office for months, then would have to run for re-election in November, maybe against the same opponents. If someone's going to run for that seat, should they win, they will most likely be running again for that same seat just a couple of months later. And the governor does have to announce the official date for that special election coming up very quickly. In fact, he has to do it by law in 72 hours, so by Monday morning. As for Trent Frank's wife, who was hospitalized, we're told that she had a prior ailment. We do not have a lot of description, though, about how she's doing right now. And again, just a lot of moving pieces here. We also are learning how much this special election could cost Arizonans, and we'll have that coming up at 6. Reporting live in Phoenix, Melissa Blasius, ABC 15, Arizona.